Hey guys, remember all those photos you took with your old drones? The ones with all that pixel noise and artifacts? The shots you'd love to have shared, but they just weren't up to scratch? Because if you looked too hard, they resembled an impressionist painting? What if there was a way to bring those photos back to life? To drag them? Kicking and screaming from the old mid-2010 standards up to 2023's far superior image quality. I thought I'd find out. Welcome along to Project Phoenix. been flying a drone for a few years now the odds are you've got more than a few rejected photos kicking about on some long forgotten hard drive somewhere perhaps there are some photos that you took which you'd have loved to have shared on your socials but which just didn't pass the old sniff test well we've come a bloody long way with photo processing software in the last decade from simple blur-based denoising tools to highly advanced AI software that is nothing short of miraculous. The first AI-based denoising tool was demonstrated by scientists from NVIDIA in 2018, and the first commercial denoise tool based on these techniques was Topaz Labs Denoise AI released back in 2019. So, this is not new software, it's been around for five years now, and it has been getting better and better with every release. But can it save a bunch of crappy eight-year-old Phantom 4 RAW files riddled with noise and screen bogeys? Let's bloody well find out. Well, I recently did a full test of all the current denoising apps and decided that it was time to move on from my old faithful Topaz Labs Denoise AI and over to DxO's Pure Raw 2023 for the simple reason that uh, it's just better. And to keep things simpler and in order to shoot a breezier video, it was Pure Raw that I used to process all of my test images. And before we get stuck into the results, I should point out that Pure Raw has two AI algorithms built in Deep Prime and Deep Prime XD. Deep Prime XD is the most recent and the most powerful, but I have found it to be over aggressive in certain situations when I tested it. So I decided to process my test shots twice to see which algorithm did the best job. All right, let's get into it. Here's how my first shot looks in its unprocessed form. This isn't actually a terrible shot, but it does show a ton of noise in the sky, which is clearly evident if we zoom in. If we look at the ocean, there's a general lack of detail in the water and the waves, and it all looks mushier than a jelly baby in a microwave. So let's see first how Deep Prime went. It has cleared up the sky to a great extent, but there's still some noise-based patination present. It's done a good job on the waves, bringing back some detail, but the ocean itself is, I would argue, over-sharpened. Meanwhile, Deep Prime XD has done an incredible job on the sky. I draw your particular attention to this area of gold-coloured cloud, where the software has not only removed the noise, but perfectly restored hidden image data in the details of that cloud. I chalk this one up as a win for Deep Prime XD, though I would prefer to see less sharpening taking place on the ocean. My next test shot is a daytime image. I included this because I wanted to see if the AI software could moderate its approach on images with less obvious noise in them. The sky could do with a makeover with the Phantom 4's old sensor not doing a brilliant job on those clouds. You'll also note a ton of hot pixels, which is weird as this wasn't even a low light image. Deep Prime has done a nice job tidying up the sky and a good job pulling back detail in the tree line. But I feel that Deep Prime XD has gone too far with its processing 
And I definitely prefer the less aggressive original algorithm for this shot. Shot three is another low light mess with the original image showing a ton of ugly pixels and artifacts in the sky. And the trees in the National Park aren't looking too clever either. Original Flavor Deep Prime has done an awesome job removing all that nasty low light pixelization from the sky. It's done a terrific job on the trees and a bloody sensational job on the ocean. XD meanwhile has definitely gone too far on this one. If you look at the sky, you can see it's actually introduced some banding there. Or maybe the banding was always there and XD just revealed it. Hmm. It's gone too hard on the waves and the trees too. So I'm giving a resounding victory to the vanilla Deep Prime for this one. And we are 3-0 now in Project Phoenix. Anyone go storm chasing with that old drones and got a hinky looking photo or two like this one lurking around on your archive drives? This is a daytime shot, so it's not terrible. But there is a bunch of hot pixels in the sky and the weird artifacting in the clouds. Looking at the sky now, we can see the Deep Primes did a brilliant job of removing the noise from the sky. The clouds lack a bit of definition, but it's a massive improvement. The houses are looking pretty good too, nice and crisp now, even zoomed in this far and no complaints from me about over sharpening the boundary edges of objects. All right, let's have a look at Deep Prime XD's efforts. And in this case, the clouds are spot on. The noise is gone, the hot pixels have gone, and we have just the right amount of definition back in the sky. It has over sharpened the houses, but actually I think it works for this image because we do have this dense area of discrete objects, the houses and gardens, etc which benefit from that crystal clear delineation. So I'm giving this one to XD. Next. Now here's a shot I included just to see how the AI does with a regular daytime photo shot in the middle of the day in bright, bright sunlight. Noise is evident in this photo, but it's not a massive issue. And we also have pretty good definition on the trees and the water. Okay. Deep Prime first, and it has nicely smoothed out the sky. I think it's gone too far with the edges on the trees at the back of the beach. I imagine that XD is going to be even worse, so let's have a look. And yes, it has indeed gone too hard, too aggressive on this shot. I do not like the way the trees now look. They appear artificial looking. Not at all natural. So I'd say there was no benefit to using Deep Prime on otherwise okay shots in the hope of getting some marginal improvement out of them. I'd suggest an AI sharpening tool instead, such as Topaz Sharpen AI. So that's 4 1 if you keep in track of the scores. All right, on to the next one. My last test shot was taken at dawn down at the local public wharf. And side note, this is a good example of how you don't have to always send your drone up to 120 bloody meters to get a shot. You can find some great perspectives just 10 or 15 meters up. Anyway, this is a really noisy shot and will be, I suspect, a great test case for pure rule. First up, we have regular deep prime and as I suspected, it has done a bloody sensational job. Check out the clouds in this region of the sky. In the original, it's a vague shape obscured by pixels and artifacts. We have reviewed the same area of the sky on the Deep Prime shot. It has been utterly transformed into a wistful blush of pink color contrasted against the blue skies. Send bloody sational, mates. The edge definition has served the wharf itself well too, with everything looking really nice and crisp. Can XD improve it further? Let's have a look. And actually, I don't think it can. It's obviously done an amazing job getting rid of that color noise in the skies, but those clouds we talked about earlier are actually slightly more washed out in XD, and that region isn't as nicely defined. Looking at the wharf, and XD has done an incredible job on the planks. Check out this part of the wharf in the original where it's just a murky brown blur. But in the Deep Prime XD, 
demonized version we have a beautiful definition on every single plank so that's another win for the ai tools and a final score of five one so i declare project phoenix a resounding a success i think it's pretty obvious that ai processing tools like pure raw can be hugely beneficial for upgrading photographs taken on older drones it will fix up the noise and it will reveal hidden details you do have to tread carefully in order to balance out the new paintwork let these systems run amok and you end up with a sterile and artificial looking image more befitting a mid-journey prompted render so perhaps there's a few older images of your own that popped in your head when you were watching this video i've used pure raw but any of the ai processing apps stand a pretty good chance of greatly improving those noisy old images so i'll be interested in hearing how you get on with the app of your choice and that will do us for this little video if you got value from this project then consider giving this video a like and consider subscribing for more shockingly brilliant content from me until the next time guys ta-ta